it's a fleet of alien spacecraft. It's, it's city sized. City sized well, alien it's, spacecraft. It's literally, for, yeah. Riding on the Loch Ness monster no. through space. <laughs> Well, when uh, we had Menace's birthday month bucket list, got it, nailed it. Yeah. Who's that? Nice. 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 Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Impressive. Nice. Uh, anyway, uh, we're talking about the vomit comet, the zero G plane. Yeah, yeah. Climbs way up there. Mm-hmm. It's like a Boeing something. It's like a commercial jet. It's huge. Yeah, it's With big. no seats. With no seats, mm-hmm. right. right? Yeah. And then uh, you're strapped in for the climb. Then you release your uh, wow. your harness or whatever, and then. They just start nose diving and you become weightless. Super cool. And uh-huh. somebody from uh, let's see, New Orleans, CJ, texting in the zero G flight. The only way Woody loses weight. Hey oh. Hashtag, yeah. Woody, hashtag disgusting. <laughs> Nailed it. Hashtag disgusting. I don't yeah. think you have to lose weight for it. No, you don't have to You're lose. Weightless. No, 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 no. You're uh, weightless. That's what they're saying. Like, yeah, oh, the saying, feel, the uh, feel. What it would be like to be weightless. I thought you had to lose get that weight water to, too. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. No. Maybe no, but anyway. Weightless. So anyway, talking about, of course, like space stuff and everything mm-hmm. else. I forgot to mention. So SpaceX launched that mission this past weekend with two empty seats. Oh. Which will be filled by those people who are stuck on the International Space Station. <laughs> wow. So yeah. Swing by and grab them. They're uh, they're coming back to Earth in February. Oh God. But the the mission is underway. So wait, they launched the rocket. It's going to chill for four months. I know, right? I, I I saw that headline and I didn't understand it. Yeah, this, I was just reading about it on the BBC. So uh, yeah, they said uh, the capsule docked with the ISS. There was a small problem. A Miss Burnham, one of the okay. So uh, this is the, the oh, Falcon rocket issue? stage has made it land in the ocean. Oh yeah, because <laughs> one one of the uh, you know you know how it's supposed to land back on the 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 SpaceX rockets or like rockets upright. are supposed to yeah they're supposed yeah. to land right. well it landed in the ocean so oh, oh no see no. doodles <laughs> yeah. yeah but they love that stuff over there like yeah. they get it well at least when they're doing they all cheer. the testing phase stuff they yeah. they love it pretty how cool. insane would you go if you're still up there uh, I don't know I mean do I got Netflix and internet you're never gonna be up there again Even if you did. right and at you what know? point Even do you just you did. at what point do you have sex just out of boredom right. I mean, even if I was at home and I was an astronaut's wife, I'd be like, oh, you know, you totally have to. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, just first of all, just how, how would that even work? Go find out. That's a, I can't imagine I'm some sure of the tricks you could do. It. You I know how to, like the Harlem Globetrotters will, will, will spin a ball <laughs> yeah. on their finger. You know what I mean? I thought like, they've had sex like, in space. Like you could mount some dude, pull your, to, pull you your knees. You would have to to the wall. So you would pull your knees to your chest and then he can like spin you like a basketball <laughs> right. on top of his ween. I never even thought of that. That'd be so cool. Oh, okay. I see what the deal is. Greg, to answer your question. Uh-huh. Is, so this they have regular scheduled missions and like stuff they're completing. Right. So because of that schedule, yes, the SpaceX rescue mission got there, it was launched, uh-huh. but they still aren't coming back to February because of the timetables they have. They have no. to do some errands first. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Look, your uh, your replacement flight is never as convenient as right. you would hope it would be. <laughs> You're on standby. When they, yeah, when they get you rescheduled. Slight <laughs> like delay. Yeah, it's never like, you know, the direct flight back. Right. Like, yeah, we're going to put you on a plane, but your uh, nonstop is now two connections. Exactly. I hope and they get a massive, plane like a really good voucher for yeah, oh, yeah. yeah for a future flight. <laughs> <laughs> like um, meals and stuff. You yeah. guys, just FYI, there is a discipline called space sexology that yeah. you can study. Okay. Well, you can study yeah. it, but, well, but and, is and it real? Human research program. Have people mm-hmm. done it in space? Nah, not confirmed. Oh, okay, because people have asked that, no one's ever fessed up to it. Why not? But I, I would think that that'd be like one of the first things that they would. Yeah, you know, exactly. experiment. Yeah, exactly. With. Yeah. What about joeing? I'm had, sure they had. had to have joed, right? There's it'd no be, way. Had to. Oh, it'd be loose everywhere. They're joeing right well, now. No, they probably well, they well, so would pee and poop. They probably spanked it inside of their uh, yeah, like the, their their whatever space they go, pod. Like, yeah, like yeah. their like their space sleeping bag. Yeah, I know with the <laughs> SpaceX uh, stuff, <laughs> the toilets on the ceiling, so you're pooping upside down. Whoa. What? Well, because there's yeah. no such thing as a ceiling. What? It's what? just because I know like when the uh, when the shuttle. The shuttle would go up. It was. It wasn't like it was above the earth, right side up. It was up. So the the, the cargo bay doors were facing the earth. Okay. Yeah. And that's how it orbited around. So I guess, uh, yeah. In that case, I don't know how these SpaceX ones go. Yes. Or how they orient themselves when they're in orbit. I think you just like so decide maybe, quote, in your the, head. The, it, I'm saying, but it it might be the quote. Top. Ceiling when you're when you're on, down on, on terra Earth, firma. I'll, I'll be but like afraid. once you're up there in orbit, <laughs> yeah. depending right. on how the the spacecraft is right. tilted, oriented, yeah. Uh, 
I'd be afraid when I'm landing that that thing's going to break and spray everywhere, you know? Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. That'd be my main <laughs> my concern. Main yeah. concern As you're toilet. hurling through the atmosphere yep. with fire outside right. the windows. Yeah. Close that latch About to there. splash uh, down <laughs> into the ocean. I'd be worried about, about getting yeah, a little caca on me. Well, I have bigger worries. I told you about the James Webb telescope thing. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about this, Seabass? What's this? Okay. Yeah. He Worry? said, big news. Big news. I haven't seen yeah. it on any of the Huge news, news. Yeah. reports, yeah. but Duck there, is, cover. there is a guy on the internet. No, there's multiple okay. uh, places yeah. reporting. Well, you played, us the re- you played us the report that you were- And he was just a guy. He was just a guy. Anyway, He was a guy. It was breaking down. So the James Webb telescope has det- detected something that is coming towards Earth. It's a fleet has- of alien aircraft, he says. Uh, yeah. Could be. We don't well, know. it could be because it changed your uh, directory. Directory? Trajectory. Trajectory. Directory. And, uh, it changed their directory. <laughs> and nothing ever does that, and now it's coming straight for us. What? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So big news. Everybody mm-hmm. heard about it. Yeah. Google it. David mm-hmm. Muir was all over it. Google oh, it. Oh, yeah. James Webb Telescope. They, they I'm, I'm watching some. the Today Show. They yeah. can't stop talking about yeah. it. Sea bass. Well, I, when I menace, this is what, Greg, like we always say about any of these things is, Oh, that's an, that's an interesting phenomenon, unexplained so far. Mm-hmm. Let's see. We could either look into it more, research what the natural mm-hmm. cause is, or... Or, or, or a fleet of aliens. Oh, wait. <laughs> aliens <laughs> coming right for us. Bigfoot, yeah. Or Bigfoot. It's, right, a, right. it's a fleet. <laughs> a fleet? Of, an armada. <laughs> it's a fleet of alien spacecraft. It's, it's city-sized. City-sized Whoa. alien and spacecraft. Could, it's literally it's literally yeah. riding on the Loch Ness Monster <laughs> through space. And yeah. It's, and it's could, crazy. It's like the never-ending story. It's going insanely fast. But you see what Greg's saying here via Seabass is that... That you could apply that to any natural phenomena in the past over human history. Like, right. oh, what's that thing that's shooting across the sky? And is then it, we find out. What's it's gods right are angry. <laughs> right. right. My Boom. mom used to tell me, like, when you, there was thunder well, and lightning, that it was the angels bowling. There well, you I go. hope, <laughs> so, I hope they go. probe you first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if it happens, yeah. I will apologize for not being a believer. Oh, so you yeah. better yeah. apologize. Oh, I will. Be upset. I will, because I do not believe. <laughs> yeah, that's what I always said. If, uh, if all of a sudden I die and I'm before St. Peter... My words will be, my bad. Uh, <laughs> sorry, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was you can hint- see where a fellow might yeah. be skeptical. Right. I but here we are. Right. <laughs> my bad. Sorry. Yeah. I hope you get splorked. All right. So for today, where people are asked the question, have you ever seen a UFO? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 68% said they haven't. 9% aren't sure. But 23% say they've personally seen a UFO before. Hmm. 29% think UFOs really are alien spacecraft. Yeah. Oh, okay. 35% think there's another explanation. Huh. 36% said they don't know. Well, does anybody? Saw them or not, 33% of people think aliens are already here. Among us. Yep. Among yeah. us. Uh, okay. The lizard, lizard people. people. <laughs> 17% think we're going to make contact with aliens in the next 10 years. Uh, shorter than that. If we do make contact, half think that they'll be coming in peace. The other half think we're in big trouble. Uh, I yeah. don't know. Well, if they come in peace, we are not going to react I know. in peace. One hundred percent. Why? In fear. We're going to start shooting missiles. Exactly. Why? Yeah. Why? That's what just, we do. Just wait it out. Because we're see, idiots. See yeah. what, what, we're scared. What they want. If you want to see a UFO, your best bet seems to be in Arizona, oh. specifically next month. The uh, top cities for UFO sightings: Phoenix is number one. Really? With at least 323 reported sightings just in the past decade. Then you got New York, Las Vegas, Portland, Oregon, Tucson, Boise, Los Angeles, San Diego, Albuquerque, and Seattle. The top 10 cities for UFO, UFO sightings. sightings. My question uh-huh. is how many of those cities are near military bases? Because they're experimenting with some crazy stuff. Sure. A lot of That's them. That's my guess. <laughs> There's been plenty yeah. of things in and around Los Angeles because yeah. SpaceX will, exactly. you know, yeah. they got stuff going on. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, November is peak UFO season for both spots. <laughs> yeah, for uh, for Wonder Phoenix why. and for Tucson. It's mating season. Also, yeah. a side note, 28% of Americans think Bigfoot is real and 23% say the same about the Loch Ness Monster. So that's who Nessie. we're dealing with. Oh, God. These are your friends and neighbors, folks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My favorite was Loch Ness Monster as a child. Yeah, Nessie. as a story. But apparently this thing lives forever. <laughs> it does. In a contained body of water, we oh, can yeah. explore Mars, but we can't explore a lake. Underground <laughs> caves, Greg. Underground <laughs> caves. We somehow found the Titanic. Yeah, somehow. Exactly. After that thing, In sank. the ocean. Yeah. That's right.